To many, Switzerland is at the cultural crossroads of the world as both past and present unite. In this land, traditions dating back over 700 years are ingrained in every man and woman, and nothing reflects it better than the sport of Schwingen. Schwingen is a sport originally invented by the shepherds in the Alps as a means to develop camaraderie and competition between one another. The sport is practiced at the amateur level to this day, as some of the best Schwingers gather in the most important one-day tournament in the land. And like all types of wrestling, there are rules to abide by. Once in the ring, each grappler must grab onto the Schwinger hosen with one hand on the back while the other goes on the leg. Once they are told to begin, then it could be anyone's match. Factors like size and strength do come into play, but a well-rounded Schwinger depends on the dynamics such as speed, technique and centre of gravity, all qualities possessed by the elite. The objective of every Schwinger is to pin both of his opponent's shoulders to the ground while still holding onto the Schwinger hosen with at least one hand. There are points given by the judges depending upon what techniques and counters are used by each competitor. In the battle royal that will lead to the eventual crowning of the King of Schwing, the intensity grows exponentially. The connoisseur of the sport knows that a bout cannot go on for an eternity, which is why for a Schwinger, time is of the essence. The bouts last eight minutes and can end in a draw if no clean winner is declared, which could mean the difference between first and second place in the end. Schwingen is a highly competitive sport. Any mistake, and the tide of the bout could turn immediately. What seemed like certain victory one minute for a Schwinger could become a fantastic defeat the next, as the best do not win all the time, thus making it much easier for the opponent to give them the gentlemanly, yet rather embarrassing, back brushing. Stay tuned for more amazing games right here on ESPN.